Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be setting up an Ubuntu micro cloud from Canonical. So this is, I'm going to actually be installing this on Debian. So I have three Debian hosts here and this OpenSUSE host is for something else, but I'm, I have three Debian hosts and I'm going to actually, in, normally you would install this on Ubuntu. It's from Canonical, uh, but basically I'm installing it on Debian because I ran into some is issues getting Ubuntu to actually work on the, the three, uh, hosts that I just showed you. So um, I ran into some issues where the installer was crashing and I'm not sure what was causing it to do that, but um, it was kind of strange and unexpected. And uh, I was I tried multiple different versions and it just kept crashing on these hosts, whereas um, both OpenSUSE and Debian worked great on these hosts. So I, I ended up installing Debian because it works almost just, it, it, it's basically a whole lot closer to Ubuntu. And um, I, I also know um, I can install SnapD on it. So basically installing MicroCloud from you know, Ubuntu or from really from Canonical. Um, the, installing the MicroCloud service is um, done. You, you install it using SnapD. Now, a lot of people don't like Snaps or SnapD, but uh, this is what MicroCloud is kind of based on. And it's 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 um, kind, kind of seen as less of a bad thing in the server world and, and like the professional IT administrator world. Uh, but whereas home users and hobbyists tend to hate it. But in any case, this is what the technology is based on. So if you're installing MicroCloud, you're installing, um, you know, you're doing it with SnapD. So rather than, you know, using SnapD, which comes with Ubuntu, I have to first install SnapD on the, I, I first have to install it on uh, on Debian. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to get SnapD installed on Debian, and then I'm going to install all of the packages for the canonical micro cloud. Now, if you don't know what a micro cloud is, it's basically um, it it normally to set these up, you would set it up manually using LXC or LXD, which is like a superset of LXC. And LXD is also a tool that comes from canonical. Now, micro cloud, based on my understanding of it so far, is just a, a a tool and a daemon for automatically setting up all of the components of a cloud. So it sets up LXD and LXC and all the other tools. Um, it will set up, uh, you know, it sets up MicroCeph for storage and, you know, micro OVN and, and a bunch of other stuff and gets it all working together in a cluster automatically for you. So a lot of handling the tokens and stuff like that is done for you. It's a relatively new tool and um, the documentation I've seen for it so far is not great. One of the better tutorials for setting this up shows you how to install this tool on, on VMs, which this is a tool that's supposed to uh, help you set up both um, containers, system containers, and VMs. So um, I, I feel like, uh, you know, no one's really shown you how to set it up in real hardware yet. So I'm gonna show people how to set this up on real hardware. Now, um, a few things, a few issues I ran into, I somehow incorrectly, so when I installed the uh, components for this, you have to install a few different packages before you run microcloud in it. And before I did that, I um, I missed one of the packages, so I missed installing micro OVN, so it wasn't able to set up the networking portion of it. Um, so I'm going to try to get that installed and do it correctly in the next video because I'm going to do a whole lot more experimentation and testing with this microcloud. So in any case, there was that, and then another thing it told me is that I had insufficient an ins insufficient number of disks available for distributed storage. And I, I haven't looked into that, but I think it means that I need an extra disk on each system for distributed storage, but I have to look into how to set that up. So any case, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, so here we have our three hosts. I'm already logged into them. You can see the, you know, they each have four CPUs and about eight gigs of RAM. You can see the disk space on each of them, vaguely around 500, you know, minus a little bit of overhead. So uh, yeah, those are the three hosts. We're gonna cat Etsy issue on each of them. You see we have Debian 12 running on them. So um, yeah, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and run apt update on each of them just to make sure I have the latest repo info. And from there, it's gonna be relatively easy to get SnapD on them. I know some people feel weird about putting SnapD on Debian, but uh, anyways, yeah, just apt install SnapD. And for any of these commands, just check the link in the description. And uh, after that, we're gonna sit, we're gonna run snap install core just to get the core stuff you need for snap installed. And um, yeah, once we've got that installed, we're gonna exit and SU to root again and echo out the path just to make sure we have uh, 
you know, snap bin on the path, which we do now. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other hosts. So yeah, just exit, log back in, check that our path is updated, which it will be. And uh, that's going to be important for any binaries that we install with, with Snap. Uh, so once we've got that done, yeah, this one failed. Typo the password. So yeah, just echo out the path here. Nothing too exciting. So there we go, there's the last one. And now we're gonna run snap install, LXD, Microceph, and MicroCloud. Now um, remember what I mentioned before, we are actually missing micro OVN. So in that list of snaps, I should have also included micro OVN for networking, and I failed to do that. So we're gonna be missing that component for this install. So I'm gonna to try to get it installed right next time. So, but yeah, for this install, we're doing it without that. So we're just gonna be missing that. We're still gonna be able to bring the cluster up, but it's not gonna have that networking component. But normally, yeah, you would wanna make sure you do do that. So if you check the, li the link in the description with the, you know, the commands that you can copy and paste, I'm gonna include the correct command, including that other snap that you're gonna to wanna to have. So in any case, here it is, um, it's asking you if you want to only search on the local host or if you want to check other hosts. I'm going to, I'm going to tell it, you know, check other hosts. I'm actually um, copying this IP address, which I don't need for my notes, which I don't actually need. But um, in any case, I'm going to say no here um, because I wanted to search everything. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to go ahead and yeah, here I am just, you know, saving that in my notes. And let's see here. I'm gonna go right ahead and just say no. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Anyways, it's that's it complaining that micro OVN was not found because I failed to install the snap for it. Now here we can install the other cluster components. So it finds other hosts on the network that are running micro cloud. And so it lists out Lion2 and Tiger1. So I'm running this from Lion1. So those are the other two hosts that I logged in from the other ter two terminals. So I selected them and it's gonna list out the IPs for each of them and it's going to install on each of them. So here we see it's installing on each of those and there we go, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear each of these terminals. And now what we're going to do is we are going to run microcloud cluster list. So there we go. It lists out our cluster, our uh, nodes in our cluster right here. So you can see all three of them are online. And all three of them, you know, you can see like the, the role and stuff like that and their addresses. Now you can actually, so there's a REST API and we're going to access that first through the browser here. So let's check that out real quick here. And I probably could have shortened this part of the video, but uh, anyways, yeah, there we go. Rep here just gives us, uh, you know, this basic status saying, hey, it's basic basically just telling us that it's working. And um, yeah, we could hit other endpoints too, but that's enough to kind of demo that it's working. Now we're also gonna hit that from the command line. So we're gonna run curl. First, I'm gonna try wget and it's gonna fail because I don't have wget on this host. So I'm gonna run curl. And that's also gonna fail because of SSL. So yeah, it doesn't recognize the cert, so we can tell it to ignore that with the dash K, or we could set up certs if you want to do that, but I'm not doing that in this video. So yeah, we're gonna, oh yeah, first thing it says accessing HTTP on a HTTPS server, so we, we specify the HTTPS URL, and then it fails because of the cert, and now we can do a dash K to ignore that failure. And there we go, that is our result right there. And that's, that's about everything I wanted to show you for this cluster. We basically set it up. I'm going to try to do it again and do a better job with it and show you some more things in a future video. Go ahead and hit that like button. And you're, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great content we have coming up. We'll also have a lot of great content we've already put out. So you're going to want to go ahead.
ahead and look at that history of videos that we have. And um, make sure you also hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube's not going to let you know when we do come out with a new video. And again, you're not, not going to want to miss some of the stuff we have coming up. So yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon. And more importantly, leave a comment down below. Not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video. They'll see your comments and be that much more informed. Um, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.